What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to show you my new hand cannon today. I'm so excited for this gun. I'm so excited! This is one of those purchases that was not sensible. It was not necessarily the best type gun for any defense situation, but it's just so purdy. It's so daggone purdy, guys. It's so purdy. This is my new Bond Arms 45 410 Texas Defender. This gun is just, uh, it's, it's just, look at it, guys. I mean, I had I saw it in the case at the gun store and I just knew I had to have it just to add to my collection it's got these cherry rosewood grips it's got the Texas star in the middle it's bond arms defender right here 45 Colt it's a two and a half inch barrel and it also can shoot 410 shotgun shells this gun is all stainless steel I mean, look at that finish. The detail put into this. It's actually got a barrel latch release. The barrel actually folds over the top like that. That way you can load in whatever you're wanting to shoot. You could actually shoot 45 Colt and have a 410 in. I don't actually have any 410 defense rounds. They do make them. They have plenty of different defense rounds you can carry around if you want. I just got some cheap target loads, but you put them in, click it back down. Got your little trigger here. It is a heavy pull. It's a Derringer, so you're not going to have a little lightweight trigger like on a Glock or anything. You actually kind of got to pull downwards with the trigger. And the gun also will not fire with the hammer not cocked. So to fire it, you go ahead and take these bullets back out for you safety nuts don't want y'all to pee in your panties You're gonna be pee pee pants city here real soon to fire it just cock the hammer that actually gets the first firing pin set then when it releases and when you cock it again it's ready for the second shell but my gosh, that is just one purty gun. Purty. Also, I just noticed this to remember to tell y'all. It actually has this little thing right here so you can get your shells out. It does not automatically push them out of the chamber. You can grab them if you have a little fingernail. But I don't really have any. But, as you can see down there, most of this gun is chamber. <laughs> I mean, there's hardly any rifling here, which I don't think you're going to be able to see anyway. Let me open it back up. Maybe you'll be able to see it with light going through. It's probably got a quarter inch of rifling right here at the end just to make it, you know, legal for the size barrel you have. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to see it really. But, let me show you this. If you got a 410 shell that thing almost goes to the very end I mean this is definitely close work gun a close work type gun you're gonna have somebody if you have this type of gun you're gonna be right up against somebody that's trying to rob you to get any kind of defense out of it but anyways let's go ahead and load up some 410s we're gonna start shooting with those and I got some targets set up so I can show you how good it does Okay, like I said, we got four tens loaded up. First shot I'm gonna do is on this paper target so I can show you the spread. I am about 15 feet away from it, so we'll see just how much spread you get when you only have like a quarter inch of barrel to go with the 410 shell. Ah, oh, and you would think that this thing would have a whole bunch of kick, which it does kick pretty good, but it being stainless steel and all, it's, it's really heavy and it feels really good in your hands. So that takes away some of that kickback that it's gonna have. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
talking about a lot of spread this is why I said this is a close work type gun I don't think that there's more than probably five pellets on that let me go get it and bring it up to you guys there you go definitely none in the center the closest one to the center is right here in the green we got another one here and the rest are spread out all around the edge so it's definitely probably within four three four five feet at the most that you're going to be using this type of gun on anything all right i got one more 410 in here let's blow up an apple with it this is what i'm talking about by some close range work <laughs> don't rob me when I have this on my side. At least don't be close to me. All right, let's shoot a little couple more 410s. Got a jug down here. I'm gonna spray them all over that jug. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Let's get one more on them jug. I got a little flower sprinkler now. I had to give this to my wife for Christmas. She'd probably love it. Yeah, right. This is the main freaking thing for this gun. 45 Colt. This is a big ass bullet. If you want to take something down, this thing's got the stopping power to do it. Look at that. Those big, beautiful golden bullets fit right down in there. You know what we're gonna take out with these big, fat lead bullets? Some black beans and some stewed maters. Here we go. Alright, second one, time for them maters to die. I love this gun. Who could, who could pass up the opportunity to shoot something long and hard at two big jugs? These things hopefully will pop with the pressure. Actually, I also hope it'll catch in the back one. I hope I can catch one of these slugs and see how it deforms. Or just go through both. I don't really care. I just think it'll look cool. Big lead bullets going into big fat jugs. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the holes down here. All right. One big hole. Second big hole. Get those moved. Look at that. Definitely destroyed and went straight through this jug. If there's any fragments in here. Nothing but old water. All right, second jug, two entrance holes, and hmm, we got a crack in the side here, and that looks like an exit hole. Let's see if there's anything left inside. Anything at all? Nope. See how thick those jugs are. Both those bullets went straight through that much water. That's a lot of power. All right, guys, I hope you liked that little video of me showing off my new little hand cannon. I highly recommend Bond Arms guns. They are so well made. They put, you can tell there's just so much time into each one of their guns. And another awesome feature of these guns, with one little screw, you can take this entire barrel off and they also sell different barrels for each type of uh, round that you might want to shoot. So if you want a 357 barrel, all you do is one little screw and you will be able to replace this barrel with 357. 
And I think the barrel is only run like a hundred, hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So, I mean, you could have one of each if you wanted, and just have, you know, one gun for one gun to rule them all. <laughs> but anyways, there is my beautiful Derringer once again. I really enjoy it. It's a really nice gun, really well made, and. If you ever have a little extra money and you want to add something to your collection, I do highly recommend them. I would definitely wouldn't recommend this for like your only carry gun or anything because unless you're a perfect shot, you you only get two rounds, two shots. This would be a great backup gun. Of course. And my neighbor starts shooting right in the middle of my video. But anyways, great backup gun. Hope you liked the video. If you like the video guys please hit that thumbs up button leave me a uh, comment check out all my other videos take it easy guys have a great christmas later